up? It's Brianna, and I hope that you are all having an amazing day. First, before I start this video, I have a few things that I want to um, tell you guys and update you guys on. I know you guys are like, an update, I hate this. But as you may know, I was gone for a week, and I posted on Instagram, if you didn't get this post. I didn't post it on Twitter, but I posted it on Instagram, that I was going to be gone off my YouTube channel for a week because I was going to be in spring break in Alabama. And yeah, I am back from Alabama. I got back last night, actually around 5.36. Um, and I unpacked, took a shower and everything, and I didn't really want to film a video because it was dark outside and it was snowy. So, goodbye, sunny Alabama weather. Hello, groggy, snowy Ohio cold weather. When it's March the 30th and it's still snowing outside and it actually snowed last night, it's melted, but it is still... Let me actually check what temperature it is because... In Alabama, it, it, it's like in the 70, 70s, and in Ohio, it is 55 degrees. I can't. Um, and yeah, if you guys didn't know, I do live in Ohio. Don't come stalk me or anything. That's weird, but... Um, yeah, anyways, today's video is going to be my March favorites. Um, but again, a few things that I want to point out. My room is messy. My hair is not looking cute today. Oh, and I dyed my hair when I, while I was in Alabama, and I know you guys are probably like, I can't even tell you dyed your hair. But I did dye my hair. Um, I just went a hint darker. It's not as dark as I wanted it. Um, my cousin did it. It's not, like, at her hair salon, and it's not as dark as I wanted it or she wanted to turn out, but it's just a hint darker than the last time's color, and sometimes in the light, it can it reflects a little bit of ginger color, which I like. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Like I said, it's going to be my March favorites, and, yeah, let's get started. So, I actually don't have very many favorites, and that's falling, but, um, I have just a little box of favorites this month because I got some new products this month, but I mostly rediscovered old products, and I kind of already showed a lot in last month's February favorites. So, I'm trying to keep this video quick and snappy since I do want to get it up for you guys, but also, uh, I'm still rambling on, but a spring lookbook, um... You guys want that, but it is technically not spring in Ohio, so I'm gonna kind of wait a week and then I'll film that. So that'll be coming in about a week. I'll post on Twitter. <clears throat> I post on Twitter when um and Instagram when I'm gonna film it and stuff. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. And my Instagram and Twitters will be linked. Twitter will be linked down below. But anyways, my first favorite is this. Sorry for the rambling on. Um, I cannot. So I actually don't have very many favorites, and that's falling, but um, I have just a little box of favorites this month because I got some new products this month, but I mostly rediscovered old products, and I kind of already showed a lot in last month's February favorites. So I'm trying to gonna keep this video quick and snappy since I do want to get it up for you guys, but also, uh, I'm still rambling on, but a spring lookbook. Um, you guys want that, but it is technically not spring in Ohio, so I'm going to kind of wait a week, and then I'll film that, so that'll be coming in about a week. I'll post on Twitter. <clears throat> I cannot talk. <coughs> I'll post on Twitter when, um, and Instagram when I'm going to film it and stuff, so yeah, keep a lookout for that, and my Instagram and Twitters will be linked, Twitter will be linked down below. But anyways, my first favorite is this, sorry for the rambling on, um, I cannot talk, <coughs> there's something stuck in my throat. Um, my first favorite is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter, and it just looks like this, and I'm sorry for my voice, I'm losing my voice, and I know I am, but it just looks like this, it smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells like the beach, and I used this when I was on spring break, and I shaved my legs, and it was just, it was perfect. Um, and then my next favorite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Foundation. I had to go down a shade because I am so darn pale, like, you guys don't even understand. I am extremely pale, and excuse my eyebrows, I actually have to go get them done today, but I am extremely pale, so I had to go down from my summer shade last year, my summer transitioning and fall shade, to this basically winter shade when it's because there's no sun in Ohio so it's not like I get any sun I mean there's sun but you guys know what I mean um it's not like I get any sun right now so I'm in the shade fair beige if you guys were wondering um and it looks like that it matches me perfectly actually I'm wearing it today and I love this foundation it lasts all day long I definitely recommend it if you guys have a lot of pimples on your face like me which you can't see obviously because it's covering it up well I mean if I got really close you, you could tell but like if you guys have eczema on your face or acne or pimples this definitely works super duper well it lasts longer than 12 hours with if you use a powder and it's just an all-around amazing product. the next product I have to go along with that which is the Tarte smooth operator Amazonian clay finishing powder so this is just basically a finishing powder for the foundation and I also have the Tarte full coverage concealer but it's too dark for me so I actually have to go swap it out but I'm contemplating on whether to swap it out or wait till summer because I'm gonna get darker and it's probably gonna match me then um, but if this is the powder it just looks like this it's a translucent powder I love the bamboo type looking packaging and it's not focusing I'm trying to get it to focus come on focus come on why are you not focusing oh my god oh okay 
Okay, they're yelling. That's just great. But anyways, this is Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder. And it, like I said, it's the Smooth Operator in my camera. Okay, there it goes. It's the Smooth Operator. And I absolutely love this powder. It's amazing. I'm going to open it up for you guys. It's kind of went everywhere. But it's just, um, it keeps your skin smooth. Whether you have oily skin or dry skin, um, it's for both. So, if you have dry skin, because I know I'm combination, so sometimes I'll have dry, sometimes I'll have oily. Um, if I have dry skin, it covers up my dry patches. It doesn't cover them up, but, like, it smooths out, smooths out my dry patches. And then, as you know, it um, collects the excess oil on my face if I have oily skin. And I'm really congested, and I just, I hate this. Like, okay, so I have a couple more favorites left to show you guys. So, my next favorite is the Be A Bombshell Eyeshadow, which I actually got in this month's Ipsy Bag, March, March's Ipsy Bag, which I'm sorry I haven't been doing those videos that much I've just been so busy and it was hectic and it came in and I had to leave for Alabama the next day and it was just not cute so yeah but anyways, it's just the Bora Bora eyeshadow it's that's the name of it and it just looks like this it's so pretty um I love how it has a mixture of winter eyeshadows right here but then a pop of color for transitioning in from fall to spring or winter to spring so yeah I love this eyeshadow definitely recommend it it's not that much I don't think I think it's about $12. I mean, that's kind of expensive, but it's Be A Bombshell. Be A Bombshell is not high-end, but it's not drugstore. It's kind of middle class in between, so I definitely recommend this eyeshadow if you're looking for a nice winter transitioning into spring trio or quad. And then my next favorite is another eyeshadow, which is I've been absolutely loving this month. I, I don't know if I mentioned this last month, but what the heck. I'm just going to mention it this month. Um, I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, and it's the Urban Decay Single Eyeshadow in Sin, and I know I'm kind of late on this train, but like I've had this for a while, and I recently pulled it back out to use and sorry for my nails also but I absolutely love this eyeshadow it's amazing you guys can see I'm just wearing it with um faint and what's the other color I forget faint and naked 2 from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette so yeah I love and my this. next favorite is a mascara and I know I've mentioned this in previous favorites but I kind of put it away for a couple months and now I just I've begin begun to use it again um my words are just I, I am tired okay but whatever I'm kind of jet lagged from the car I mean jet lagged but whatever um this is the Benefits Their Real Mascara. I absolutely love this. And I'm really sorry this video is just... I'm not myself. I'm sorry. But I'm just tired and I... I school just got me like... Mm. But um, yeah, I love this mascara. I'm wearing it today. It's super duper... Oh my gosh. It makes my lashes so freaking long and I love it so yeah if you guys have ever tried this mascara comment down below if you like it or not because I know I favorite is a nail polish which I actually got in this month's Ipsy bag as well it's the Nicole by OPI nail polish and it just looks like this and it's one of those texturized nail polishes and it's in the shade on what ground so when you put it on your you know how you the feeling the look and the feel of concrete this is what it looks like so basically those little dots in there it dries to like look like concrete I wish I had it on my nails right now but whatever and I absolutely love this and it's probably one of the coolest nail polishes I've ever put on my nails so next yeah. favorite my last favorite in my little bucket of favorites here um is the Derma Doctor KP Duty Moisturizing Therapy Dermatologist Moisturizing Therapy for Skin um that was a tongue twister or a mouthful but it basically looks like this and I have eczema on my arms I know it's really bad people mistaken it as acne but no guys it's eczema I'm not really afraid to show it because I mean it's not something I'm insecure about but I just I want to, I've had, I was born with it, my mom was born with it, my brother was born with it, but this stuff is supposed to help with eczema, and the real name for it is Kurtopsis Polarius, so yeah, it's on the back, if you guys can say, that's the real name for it, but, um, it's clinically proven to improve the appearance of dry skin and rough red chicken skin bumps like this basically so yeah this stuff works amazing they used to be a lot worse than this it looks really bad on camera but trust me it's not that bad um but yeah i definitely recommend that if you have eczema or whatever i just said the word was um and yeah and then my next favorite and my last three favorites actually this is the suave kids detangling spray because don't judge me guys do not judge me I, I know i can sense you guys judging me right now because like you're 13 years old brianna why are you using the suave kids detangling spray Spray. it works I mean if it works why don't you use it like it could be like a princess to tangling spray and I'd probably still use it. I mean I'd like princesses but whatever um yeah I need a drink of water because um I'm not gonna say it because you guys okay whatever um yeah, the tangling spray. It works. I just spray it on my hair after I get out of the shower, and it takes all the tangles out. Like right, the next, the last two favorites. This is a heat protectant spray from Tresemme. It's the Platinum Strength uh, Strengthening Heat Protectant Spray. Tresemme is just an all-around amazing salon quality. Salon quality? Salon quality brand. I mean, 
I know salons don't use this brand. They just say it's salon quality, so I'm just going to take their word for it. But I love this. It keeps my hair protected from the heat. And then oh. next, I have this Pink More Love Body Mist. It's in the scent More Love. And I got this on sale for like $4 at Pink, and it smells amazing. And I don't even know. I'm just actually going to spray it right now. I know that's annoying, but... It smells good, so. And that was all for my um, beauty favorites. Now on to like miscellaneous favorites. I have a couple songs that I want to share with you guys. So the songs that I have recently been loving, I've been loving Hunter Hayes' whole album. Not his new one. I know his new one comes out this month, but his one that came out last year, I've absolutely, I think it was last year. That came out last year. I've been loving it. Um, while I was in Alabama, I kind of got back into the country feel of things. So I started listening to his album this month. Um, as well as Flights and Distance by Jack and Jack. I know I'm kind of late on that train of getting them, but like, I kind of like just got them because I finally got iTunes gift card. So I started listening to them. Uh, I kind of liked it before, but you know, I started listening to it more. So definitely Five and Distance by Jack and Jack. And if you don't know who Jack and Jack are, then bye. Leave. But I'm um, just kidding. Um, but go look them up if you don't, because honestly, they're amazing and I love them to death. But yeah, um,. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, and then Kesha's um, Warrior album and Demi Lovato's War Demi Lovato's Warrior album. I know how how coincidental, but um, yeah, I've been loving that. So that's my music favorites. I'm not gonna link them down below because it's just honestly too much to link down below. So you guys can just go look at it if you want to. But yeah, that was all for this video. I love you guys all so much. And a spring lookbook will be coming soon. It is technically not spring in Ohio. It's still winter, but when it when it's sunny one day this next week, it's supposed to be super duper sunny. So I'll film my spring lookbook then. Um, and Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, which is um, at BriannaXBDX, same as my YouTube username. Also follow me on Twitter, which is at BriannaXBDX, and yes, it is the real me, at BriannaXBDX, any other fake account, any other accounts that are trying to be me, they're not me, it is at BriannaXBDX, same as my YouTube username, all my social networks are same as my YouTube username, except my Tumblr, which my Tumblr is linked down below, because you know Tumblr users are different, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later, bye!